Hey After Effects users, I have what I think will be a really handy tool for you all. It's a completely free download, I call it Layer Bender, and it will let you bend, curve, or curl any layer in After Effects. So text, images, footage, pre-comp layers, solid layers, anything that you put in the pre-comp can be curved. And you get a lot of control over that curve, so you can see with the controls, I can tell it where the bend should start, and how wide the bend is, and you can even curl layers into a spiral. Uh, as you may have guessed, this is done by breaking up the layer into a bunch of segments, and you can delete segments or add more segments to make the bend smoother. And also you can select any of those middle segments and rotate them to add a new bend to the layer, so you can have multiple curves. So in this tutorial, I'll go over the controls and I'll show you some important things like how to add segments and how to change the dimensions. Uh, I should mention that there is another way to curve layers in After Effects. If you go here and change the renderer from Classic 3D to Cinema 4D, then each 3D layer will have these geometry options and you can curve a layer and add segments. Um, so why do I even bother making this tool? Well, not everyone wants to use the Cinema 4D renderer. Not everyone likes the Cinema 4D renderer. It's a lot slower. And it's not always compatible with people's projects. I did a test where I opened a bunch of my own projects that I made with the classic renderer. And when I switched to the, the Cinema 4D renderer for about 80% of those projects, it completely screwed it up uh, because something in the project wasn't compatible with that renderer. So I just never use it because I don't like it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe you guys understand it better and you think it's great and whoop de do for you, but I stay away from it. Uh, so this tool is for people like me who want to use the classic 3D renderer. Uh, I actually developed this for another project because I needed curved projection maps for a template called Infinite Horizon. Uh, that template will let you drop in your landscape footage and make a variety of really trippy perspective bending scenes. And you can curve your land or oceans in different ways. You should go watch the demo video because it's really cool. It's got scary music and everything. I'll leave a link for that in the description. All right, um, let's talk about Layer Bender. Uh, this is a template, so the, the way that you'll use it, uh, you'll probably want to import it into your existing project. So just go to File and Import and File and choose LayerBender.aep. And it'll appear in a folder here. Uh, this comp has your bended layer, and this comp is the pre-comp. So you put your footage or text or whatever you want into here. Uh, this comp is HD, so 1920 by 1080 pixels. It can be any size you want, but there are some steps you have to follow before you can change the dimensions, and I'll go over them in a minute. Um, you can hide this layer with the grid or delete it if you want. I'll just uh, leave it alone, and we'll look at the, the bended layer comp. So we have 21 segments to this layer by default, and you can see they're each parented to the layer above it. Um, now you probably have another comp that you're working in and you'll want to transfer this bended layer to that comp. So to do that, just select this segment one layer first and hold down shift and select the segment end layer. Then you can copy and paste all the layers to your other comp. Uh, you have to do it in that order because it preserves the order of these layers when you paste them. All right, notice how the, the top layer says control layer. All the other layers are ultimately parented to this first segment. So you can move, scale, or rotate this layer to move the entire thing. Also, this is the layer where the customization controls. So if we look in our effect controls panel, we have these layer bender controls here. So we can choose which direction we want to bend from, left, right, top, or bottom. And the anchor point of our bended layer changes accordingly. Uh, you can adjust the bend angle and this incremental bend lets you curl it or curve it into a spiral. For a tighter spiral, use a, a lower bend angle and a higher incremental bend. Bend start lets you choose where to start curving the layer. It's at 50% now. Uh, that's 50% of the layer's width. So it starts curving at the middle of the layer. Uh, bend width is how tight the curve is. That's also a percentage of the width. Uh, gap control. You might see tiny gaps uh, between segments and they look like lines. Uh, you can try selecting all the segments and setting the blending mode to alpha add, or you can increase this gap control and it will extend the width of the segments. 
so that they overlap a little. And you can see if I crank this way up, uh, you get this jagged effect. And then scale beginning and scale end, you can stretch the first or last segments if you want. And then we have some instructions here so you can quickly reference how to do these two basic things, uh, changing the dimensions and adding or deleting segments. Uh, by the way, the full instructions are in the layer comments here or in the instructions comp. So you don't have to read these, uh, but these are the some different things that you can do. Um, so let me show you how to add or remove segments first because that's easier. All you need to do is set the bend angle to zero. And then you can delete as many of the, the middle segments as you want. Any layers between segment two and segment end. Or to add segments, you can duplicate the middle segments or copy and paste them and then move them down to the bottom above this segment end layer. And uh, these numbers don't have to continue in the right order, but I feel better inside when they do. So to keep them in order, I'll copy and paste one of these uh, one at a time down to the bottom as many times as I please. Um, now we need to parent all of these, those new layers to the layer above it. And the fastest way to do that is with this little spiral icon. This is called pick whipping. So just pick whip each layer to the layer above it by dragging that spiral to the layer. And uh, don't forget to do that for this segment end layer as well. And then you're done. You can bend this layer now. To change the dimensions of the layer, uh, we have to add a couple more steps. So first, like before, I'll set the bend angle to zero. And then I'll reset the transform properties of my bended layer. So I'll expand the segment one layer and next to transform, I'll click the reset button. And then I'll select all my segments and set their parenting to none. Now I can open the pre-comp by double clicking one of these segments. Uh, Command K or Control K to open the composition settings panel and I can change this to whatever I want. I'll do 3,000 pixels wide and 500 pixels high. And then I'll go back and uh, we need to parent them again. So just pick whip all the layers, starting with segment two. Uh, segment one doesn't need it. And then it's ready, Freddy. That's about it. I hope you find the effect useful for your motion designs. The link to download it for free is in the description. And there's a bunch of other really cool free stuff for After Effects users on the website, as well as some really fun templates that are not like any other After Effects templates you can find. Uh, the latest is Solaris, which will let you create realistic sun animations. Or Shapeshift, which lets you make some really unique uh, perspective bending transition effects for your footage. There's also Landscaper. Uh, Landscaper lets you create custom 3D landscapes in After Effects. Almost any kind of landscape you can imagine, you can create it. And it comes with tons of nature effects and an automatic sky to adjust the lighting. And you can easily add bodies of water like lakes or rivers or oceans. Also 30 finished landscapes come with it so you can just drop some 3D title into those and they're ready to render. Another recent and popular template is Creation Trippy Effects, which is a huge collection of trippy animations that you can customize, as well as trippy effects for your footage. So lots of ways to imitate the look of being high or drunk, and just a lot of other creative and interesting looks for your footage. And lastly, I'll show you Creation Art Effects, which is a huge collection of art looks for your footage. Uh, so you can turn your footage into just about any artistic medium you can think of, like pencil sketch or paintings, claymation, uh, paper cutouts, chalk on chalkboard, and a whole lot more. Uh, so I hope you poke around on the website. Um, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, which that's a weird thing to say because I don't see you and you don't see me, but there it is.